Okay, Jennifer, here's a walk around of Granny Pat. It's a beautiful truck. Like I said, it's got to be the most rust free trail wheelbase I've ever had the pleasure of seeing. The bed's in fantastic shape. I couldn't find any rust anywhere in the bed, underneath the bed. It's in great shape for one of these and not too beat up. Usually a lot of them have dents and dings and banged up from years of hard use on a farm or something. So this one, uh, you got lucky with. Great shape. I apologize, you might hear my panting lab in the background. I gave her a little wash today and tried to clean her up some. Get some of the dust off. Side. Originally, somebody put carpet in there, and I guess George ripped most of it out. It was uh, definitely got wet and stinky. It's a little funky in here, but when we repaint it and all that, it'll take care of all that. Um, got some kind of, I don't know, PO mod here. But otherwise, and they relocated the wiper to kind of a different position, but... We do have the light switch and choke and all that. The air conditioning, the gauges are all here and they work. Um, it turns out these 45 seats are actually out of uh, a later 45, probably like a mid 70s. So um, they're, I'd say they're a little more comfortable than the early style bench seats. Um, let me walk around to the other side. Got a kick out of this one. Open the glove box. Uh, 1990s cassette tape, not even CD. That's pretty old school. So, and there's a couple speakers under the seat. I think this build must have been done in the mid 90s sometime. You can um, see all the TLCA membership badges that they've put up there starting in 97. Paint's a little old and faded, but the, the body lines are good and straight. No dents or dings anywhere. Really is a nice truck. I think a fresh coat of paint and a little tidying up and uh, you'll have a winner. I think we might have to do something about those rear tail lights. Try to get something more stock looking. Nice, clean, straight bed. And the top's in really nice shape. No dents or dings up there. No rust. So I think we got a great starting point for building your dream 45. I'll send some more pics in a little bit. Bye. Here you go, Jennifer. Your new 2F motor purring like a kitten. I uh, did a little valve adjustment on it. Uh, some of the valves make a little noise, but now it runs nice and smooth. Did a little dialing in on the carburetor. But uh, it runs great, and it definitely pulls the hardest of any carbureted 2F I've ever driven. So I think you've lucked out and got a, a gem of a motor. Nice and healthy. Sounds powerful. Talk to you soon. Bye.